Match Wits with the Champions. In America's favorite question and answer game, live from New York City, the award-winning General Electric College Bowl, beginning its 12th season on television and presenting varsity scholars throughout America. College Bowl is brought to you each week by the General Electric Company. General Electric, makers of quality products for the home, for industry, for America's utilities, and for national defense. Today's contest brings together these collegiate competitors, the varsity scholars from Johns Hopkins University, Baltimore, Maryland, and our current champions, the Varsity Scholars from Bradley University, Peoria, Illinois. Its province included everything from soup plates to skyscrapers. Its masters included such men as Mohoynaudi, Clay, Finder. Johns Hopkins, Braden. Um, surrealism. No, five point penalty, I'll repeat for Bradley. Its province included everything from soup plates to skyscrapers. Its masters included such men as Mohoynadi, Clay, Feininger, and Marcel Breuer. For ten points, name this German school of architecture and design. Bradley Worley. The Bauhaus. Yes, the Bauhaus. That's right, ten points, and here's the bonus. For five points apiece, name the author who wrote major works highlighting these philosophic or political personalities. A philosophic fisherman in a work published in 1653. Isaac Walton. Yes. A philosophic professor in a novel published in 1759. Tom Jones. Voltaire is the answer. A political prince in a work written in 1559. Machiavelli. Machiavelli, yes. A philosopher king in a work written around the end of the 4th century BC. Plato. Uh, Plato. Plato, yes. I have a 20 point bonus question coming up now. Here is the toss-up. In a well-known biography, George Washington confessed to cutting down a cherry tree. Johns Hopkins Mendelssohn. The biography was written by Parson Mason Locke Weems. Five-point penalty on repeat for Bradley. In a well-known biography, George Washington confessed to cutting down a cherry tree. For ten points, what much earlier figure confessed to stealing a pear from a pear tree, among other confessions? Mm. Bradley Siddler. St. Augustine. That's right. Oh, my God. Let's go. Cassiopeia and Cygnus are constellations, Bradley, for 20 points. What specifically are Icarus, Hidalgo, Hermes, Eros, and Ceres? Uh, they're asteroids. They are asteroids. That's right. Now you're playing for a 20-pointer. Here is the toss-up. For 10 points, is a beetle a member of the order Hymenoptera? Lepidoptera? Bradley Siddler. Coleoptera. It is Coleoptera, yes. All right, Bradley, the most famous book on naval history ever written was probably The Influence of Sea Power on History, published in 1890. For 10 points, what American wrote it? Uh, man, Alfred Thayer Mann. Yes. For ten points, name the two foreign navies that are usually said to have been built as a direct result of this book's influence. Japan, J Japan and, uh, and uh, Germany. Germany. Yes, you're right. Now you're playing for a 20-pointer. Here's the toss-up. For ten points, what was the address of Dude, Ada, Ellie Mae, and Jeter Lester? Bradley Worley. Tobacco Road. Yes, Tobacco Road. Oh, and the bonus for 20 points in what poem did Rob Robert Browning write, Grow old along with me, the best is yet to come. No, no, you're no. wet and grow old with me. Uh, come, come with me and be, be my love. It's Rabbi Ben Ezra. 20-pointer coming up. Here's the toss-up for 10 points. Name the legendary figure who made the Grand Canyon of the Colorado by dragging his axe behind him. Bradley Roberts. Pecos Bill. No, can you take it, John Hopkins? John Hopkins, Braden. It was Paul Bunyan, yes, and here's your bonus. For 20 points, what do we call the angle at which one body or material or radiation strikes a surface measured from a line... It's Angle from a line incidence. Angle of incidence. The angle of incidence is right for 20 points. Now you're playing for a 20-pointer. Here is the toss-up. To the question, what is property? He returned the famous answer, property is theft. For 10 points, who was this French artisan who in the 1840s was the first to... <laughs> That's it. Time's up. The game is over. We'll validate the final score. And in a moment, announce the winner and award the scholarship grants.